Hello guys, uh, welcome to another video about Madonna and today I wanted to um, tell you a couple of things about her that happened to me yesterday and I just wanted to do like kind of story time to you. So um, keep going with the video. Okay, so I wanted to, to uh, tell you something about something really fun that happened to me yesterday. So uh, I was with my cousin and he was, um, I'm all the time talking about Madonna. And I was talking to him uh, about how important she was uh, in the music industry. I mean, she, how important she is, but she, how, how big she was back in the day in the 80s and the 90s. And he was so curious about to know a little bit more about her. And I just told him, okay, I'm gonna show you something. I'm sure you, he's, he's like 13 years old. And I told him, okay, I know you don't have much information about that, but uh, I know you're curious and I wanna show you uh, something about Madonna so you can, you can uh, relate more with her and know better who she was back in the 90s. Because I think the only thing she, yeah, he knew about her was the uh, something about Madame X, something about, um, MDNA, I think that was the only thing that he knew about her. And uh, for me, I don't know about you, but for me, I have three favorite uh, things to show uh, to a person that doesn't know too much about Madonna, and I want to introduce her. So for me, there are three uh, videos that I like to show to people. The first one is the live performance of MTV of Vogue. Um, in the 1990 when she played that Marie Antoinette that is my first option to show to anyone that I want to introduce Madonna the second one for me is the live performance of this same year in the Grammys when she went uh, with um, with Michael Jackson and she performed sooner or later the soundtrack from Big Crazy and uh, oh my god I think she was amazing there and the third one is, I mean, this is now when you are kind of more into her and you can watch the whole Blonde Ambition World Tour. And if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can see through the there. For me, those are my favorites. I don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm so into the 90s and um, I'm so obsessed with this era. Even though I'm a really hardcore Madonna fan. I love Madonna from the beginning. Uh, to the end. I love her all the way. Uh, there's no era that I can say, okay, I don't like this era. Uh, I love her everything about her. You have no idea. Uh, but uh, for me, the 90s was such an iconic time. Such an iconic time. And when you want to introduce Madonna to a new generation, for me, this is the time, the most interesting time that I can show to, to, to any to any person uh, that I want to show it, and um, yeah, it was so. First, I showed the, the I showed him the first video of um, the Vogue performance from the Marie Antoinette performance, and he was so obsessed with that. He was oh my god, how is possible? I missed that. It's like amazing, amazing. I wanna, I wanna, I, I wanna see more. And I said, of course you want to see more. <laughs> this moment is amazing. Why do you think that I love her? And uh, yeah, that was such a such an amazing experience um, because I love to watch this. How this new generation? Okay, this new generation. The only access that they have access to everything, but they all they are always consuming the new music, the new videos. They are so lazy on going back to time and see what was happening in the world back then. And for me, to discover Madonna, I, I mean, for me, that was everything for me when I was, I was born in 1992, and uh, by the time I met Madonna, I think, um, I couldn't get to enjoy that that time from the 90s properly because I, I was born in, the, in 1992, but uh, I remember that I discovered her with the Blonde Mission World Tour. I was suddenly walking around and I saw her in the TV. They were the, playing this concert, this tour, and I just stand in front of the TV like, oh my God, 
I love her. I love her and I, I, I was like five years old. And the rest is history. I'm, I became a really hardcore fan. And for this new generation, uh, they only know about the new music. Even though if you are asking her about something from the 2010, they, they're not gonna know about it. Because they are only into new thing, into the new thing, the new music going out in the market. And honestly, I don't think the new music is a good thing right now. It's, I think we're missing a lot of things. I, I think we're missing quality in the videos. I think we're missing quality in the music, in the artistry and everything. And this is the only thing they, are, they have available. And sometimes they're so lazy to go back, as I said before. But um, it's so, it's so awesome to me uh, to watch that sparkling on his eyes when I show him Madonna and the Broadway Vision World Tour and he was watching that, he watched that from the beginning to the end I mean, no pause and he was like, oh my god, this is amazing this is amazing, I love her <laughs> and I said, yes, of course you love her and this is the kind of reaction that I love and this is the kind of things that I love that's why, that's one of the reasons why I was speaking with someone the other day about my, my uh, Madonna because I have a I, I don't have only this YouTube channel I have this this YouTube channel that I do different kind of videos about her and I display some items of my collection and I speak about her sometimes and uh, reactions and all that but I like to have my I love my uh, Instagram page uh, that I, I have now for a couple of years and um, I have a lot of followers there on the Instagram page Mother Online and the TikTok Mother Online page too because I love to, to, to cut all Madonna videos and put it in there in, the, in those pages because for the new generation this is a, a, huge, a huge platform, a huge way to meet Madonna for the first time the old things she, she haven't done and they don't have access to it because they're really lazy to go to YouTube and find out who was Madonna. They're not gonna do that. So um, this is the, today people are only on TikTok or Instagram and scrolling down reels, scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. And for me, the fact that I'm posting these old videos and the reels of Instagram and TikTok is mark all the difference, makes all the difference because this is a way that new generations are discovering these kind of videos and they say, okay, I wanna see more. And they go to see more to YouTube and discover new things about her. And for me, this is everything. I'm not, I'm not making money of TikTok or Instagram, nothing like that. I do it for love because I love, I love Madonna and I love to introduce her to the new generations and because this woman deserves to, to, to that people knows about her. Blood and Vision World Tour, that was, that was really something huge for me because after that, I became like, to learn so much. I learned so much about her because it's not only the artistry, the dance, the, 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 um, the movements, the music, it's about the legacy of this woman, how many uh, people she influenced, how, how many things she has done for, not only for uh, music industry, but for the minorities. She has been outspoken for the minorities from the beginning of her career, and not everybody knows that. But besides that, she's a, a really an amazing songwriter too. She's an author of her own songs, and that's something that she doesn't have so much credit for but i i think it's, it's amazing to know that so uh basically i showed him this concert he got obsessed with her and uh he made me uh <laughs> he made me uh do like a kind of list of different concerts and different videos uh, for him to watch and he became to to uh look for everything in madonna so i have a little a little new fan <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to share this story with you because I think it's so funny and it's so uh, so amazing to watch. It's so awesome to watch how people from this new generation uh, are just like trying to discover these great things from the '90s, even though in the night back in the '90s they didn't have this. This artist did they didn't have uh, the the. The kind of uh, social media that we have today for for the artists of today is everything so it's so easy because they 
release a new video and they have all the Facebook, TikTok, app, and all these platforms to, to, to I, I mean, distribute the, the video. They have a huge access to people through the social media. And this is a fact. Back in the 90s, artists didn't have that. And it's really, it is really nice to, to see how this, this, um, these kids uh, discover uh, Madonna and the legacy is amazing. Okay, so I just wanted to do this video a little quick and I hope you enjoy my story time and see you in the other video. Please go and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, go to, um, to see the other videos that I have here and I'll be posting new videos every week, maybe more than one. I've been, in, I've been really busy, that's why I haven't been posting so much. But you know that I love this channel. This platform for me is, is the most that I like. This platform for me is for all the social media that I have of Madonna. This is my favorite because I can, I can do longer videos. I can explain things better. I can post news of Madonna and um, what's happening with her uh, in a really huge way. And uh, yeah, this is this is one of my favorite platforms ever. So subscribe here, and you can see the other. Uh, links for my other Madonna pages. I'm gonna leave it right here and see you in the next one. Bye bye